and television dude here and I have some Halloween slash horror horror related records in the mail this is two out of four packages I have coming that are horror related records I'm gonna wait till I get the third one and splice it onto this video before I upload it the fourth one hasn't been shipped yet so there's no reason to wait I'll just do it in its own video this one came from a uh, someone who's in one of the uh, vinyl groups that I'm in on Facebook but he also sells on eBay so he gave me a nice deal and he said he was going to throw in some extras too I think he said he needed to get rid of some records and stuff so he gave me a phenomenal deal on the on the two records and was going to throw in some extras well, let's see what the extras are. The extras might be jazz related because I mentioned jazz. Further Adventures of Jimmy and Wes, Jimmy Smith and Wes Montgomery. Can't say that I've heard of them, but I bet you this is going to be great. I just know it. Uh, right there. Uh, well, uh, maybe that was the only bonus. That's okay. Great bonus. Thank you. Let's get this out of here. It's in here pretty good. Ah. Hold on a second. Jeez, that's in there pretty good. If I get some of it out this way, there we go. It's almost stuck in there. Ah, oh, I see. I see, that's what, what, why it was sticking. It stuck to the album a little bit, album cover. First one is famous ghost stories. Headless Horseman, The Ghost Ship, The Tell Tell Heart, The Railroad Signal Man, The Hitchhiker, A Visit to Transylvania, The Bloody Tower, The Haunted Gold Mine, The Spectre, The Miser's Gold with Scary Sounds. This actually sounds really, really awesome. Adapted by Wade Denning, produced by Wade Denning for Pickwick Records. This is going to be great. And Boris Karloff presents The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, Hollow and Rip Van Winkle. The full stories with music and scary sound effects. This is going to be good too. Anything with Boris Karloff related has got to be good. I haven't heard of either of these before, so I'm in for a treat there. And thank you so much for all the extras there. I'm real curious about what that uh, jazz one is. Real curious. Now this came from Waxwork Records. I bought this the morning it was released. I'm actually unsure what color vinyl it is because I thought I ordered uh, the colored uh, the the colored one, and then it may end up by what was the two colors? Well, one was blue and gold swirl, and one was white castle marble. I thought I decided on the blue and gold swirl at the last second. It's what I thought I chose when I bought it. I really did think that's what I chose. But the order said I ordered the White Castle Marble. 
I actually don't care because both look awesome. And after uh, looking at it for a while, I'm starting to think that the White Castle marble looks better. There was no difference in price. Looks like the blue and gold swirl was limited though and sold out, but that doesn't really matter to me. I didn't even say what this was. Gee, I, I'm just—I just woke up, so I'm not with it yet. This is the soundtrack to Nosfer Nosferatu, the Vampire. It's a soundtrack to the 1978 film score by. I uh, probably is gonna butcher his name, Popol Vu. Remixed and mastered for vinyl. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I did hear that there was another company that also did a uh, take on this at the same time. And the other one, I don't think looks as cool, but it may have uh, a bonus track that this one does not have. But I'm not going to go out and buy it just for that. Definitely not. Is there an easier way to do this? <laughs> I'm cutting it, but it's not going anywhere. Ouch. I'm trying to be careful, you know, because my knife is sharp, and I don't want to cut in anything, you know. I'm just trying to get a point started with my fingers here. There we go. And so I don't ruin anything up there. Cut right about there. There you go. Might save that like I saved the trick or treat one. Let's open this up. Very interesting. I believe I've seen this scene in the movie. I've seen the movie once, and I really did like it. But I feel like the dinner scene was in the movie. I think it was. It seems oddly familiar. It's a 2LP set. Now let's see which color vinyl I did get. It looks like it's the White Castle. I don't need to show one of these. It is the White Castle marble. I believe that was what it's called, White Castle. I could look online for a more uh, the proper uh, term but that does match with that pretty well the other one does too in a way I'm, I'm happy with whatever because the order did say that's what I ordered so but I could have swore it was the other one could have swore it was maybe I made the mistake who knows what else is in here Ah, a uh, poster. I don't want to read all that, but hey, cool. I believe that is all the goodies. So, uh, this is awesome, and I can't wait to listen to all of these here. Jeez. And then uh, I will uh, be back when I get the uh, next package, which which is on its way. All right, we got our, my other package in the mail, the one I was waiting on to finish off this video. The next one, or two packages, I'll do separately on their own. But before I open that, I wanted to go back on this. Unfortunately, we had a little bit of bad news here. There ended up being a very bad edge warp on this one, so it won't play right. It just keeps skipping and skipping. Needle just jumps all over the place. A little disappointed. But the seller was kind enough to give me a partial refund, so we're all good there. 
I'll, I, I probably can get another copy of this someday. This one played just fine, and it was really good. I really liked it. Same thing with this jazz. This is this jazz that he sent me. This was really good too. Surprisingly, really, really good. I guess a lot of people know these uh, Jimmy Smith and Wes Montgomery on the Facebook forums. This one is so interesting. This could be its own video as well. I tell you. I found this on accident, or not on accident, you know, while searching around looking for other things, I happened upon this the day after Halloween. And I was like, oh my god, I gotta have this. I just have to have this. That's how ha half my purchases work, don't they? I just gotta have this. You can see already. Hammer presents Dracula with Christopher Lee, a horrifying story of vampirism with spine chilling sounds and music. Music composed by James Bernard, arranged and conducted by Philip Martel. Ooh. Hammer City Records present in the footsteps of Dracula. The legend of the vampire embodies one of the oldest fears of humankind and from the myth mist haunted regions of the past it has echoed down the centuries so that its curse still re reverberates with menace in our own day. And it goes on with a cool story about Vlad the Impaler, the Countess Elizabeth Bathory, and they mentioned some other people like the Black Baron, Joan of Arc. They mention Max Shrek and Count Orlock. They mention Bela Lugosi and Dracula. They mentioned Christopher Lee and the Hammer ones. Wow. I didn't know this existed actually. Not at all. A lot of records I didn't know existed. But I'm so happy to have this. Let's see what this looks like on the inside. He said it was in phenomenal shape, and it kind of looks like it. Maybe just some dust. Maybe light surface scratches at most. I guess we'll see about that. Side one is the scars of Dracula. Taste the blood of Dracula. Oh no, also Dracula itself. Oh, okay, it's Dracula. A is scars of Dracula. B is taste the blood of Dracula. Side two is four faces of evil. The Hammer City Orchestra. Fear in the night. She, the vampire lover lovers, and Doctor Jekyll and Sister Hyde. Wow, this is going to be awesome. So I really, really can't wait to play this. So stay tuned for uh, more videos.